What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a faded blur transition in Vegas Pro 16. Now to do this I'm going to be showing you two different ways, one is going to be using a paid plugin known as Sapphire Plugins, that way is going to be a lot quicker and it will save you a lot more time. Another way I'm going to be showing you is using um, everything built in with Vegas. So you're going to be using the video effects known as Gaussian Blur. Then you're going to be adding on a simple fade by simply clicking and dragging. Now if there's a tutorial that you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make that for you as soon as I can. Just before we go any further, I'd like to point out that Wondershare are sponsoring this video and they're doing something amazing on their website. And what it is, you can win Amazon gift cards, you can win an iPad, or you can win a huge discount on their products. Now, something important to note, to enter, it's 100% free, and there's also a 100% chance win rate, meaning no matter what you do, you will win something, whether it's a discount, an Amazon gift card, or an iPad. So once you're on the website, just select dry your luck, and as you can see, I got 40% off the products. It shows below the discounts of the programs I can get, and you can see, like I mentioned, very, very good prices. Now, this is their video converter, which I find very useful and very quick to be converting videos. So over here I have an MOV file, this is from my previous tutorial where I showed you how to create a lyric video in Vegas Pro. Now I'm going to convert this to MP4, so I'm going to select add files, and just like that it has now been inserted. At the top right here it says convert all files to, and I'm going to select video, because of course we want it to be a video, I'm going to select MP4, and once you're happy with that you can simply select convert. I'm going to be showing you, you can also edit your videos using this software as well. So very basic editing so you can trim your video, you can crop your video and you can also add some slight effects to the video look. And there we go, it is all done, you can see it says success which means it's completed and you can see it's right here. It's now an mp4 file, as you can see, .mp4. As you can see it does come the way we cropped it. Now two more things you can do with this program, you can record your screen by selecting screen recorder. Just like that, this little box appears and you can control what you're recording. And the final thing of course is video compress, which allows you to compress your file sizes without losing quality. So the first way I'm going to be showing you is with the plugin, and if you have Sapphire plugins and this will work for you, head over to transitions and from here scroll down until you see S underscore dissolve defocus. So once you have that, just drag and drop it on, say at the start of your clip, and notice your video will go black. Now you'll also notice here, there are some settings we can control, however, I don't recommend you even touch them, you wouldn't need to. I'm going to X out of it and play it through. As you can see, we've just got the faded blur transition just like that, super super simple and super quick. Now let's say you want to transition from one video to another using that same technique, well you just drag and drop it in between the clips, so you can see they'll then overlap and playing it through. It creates the blurred transition. And finally, let's say you want to end your video using this effect so it'll blur and also go into black. We can play it through. To the end, it will simply defocus and blur. So that's that way, and again, it's using Sapphire plugins, and it is this one right here, which is S underscore dissolve defocus. Now, yes, it's a plugin, so don't ask why you haven't got it. You need to purchase this plugin program. Now, the next way I'm going to be showing you is a bit more time consuming. However, it doesn't require any plugins. Everything built in with Vegas will work. So the first thing we're going to do is create the fade. And if you don't know how to create a fade, just go up to the top corner and you'll see this sign. Left click it and drag it in. Now, this time on screen is telling us how long the fade will be. So right now it has just got to one second. I'm going to put it to two seconds, which is going to be up to there. And if I play it through, at the moment that's all we got, a nice fade in. Now the next thing we need to do is add on the blur. So to do that, head over to video effects. And from here you want to look for Gaussian blur, which is right here. 
and I recommend using extreme blur, however you can use any blur you would like. Just drag and drop it onto that first clip. This is what the video will look like, don't worry it's supposed to look like this. Then where it says horizontal range and vertical range, you want to toggle the animation by selecting the clock next to both of them. You then also want to have sync cursor to media timeline highlighted. Then click at the end of your fade. And right here, this is where you turn down the horizontal range to zero and the vertical range also goes to zero as well. So then your video becomes visible. Notice this is what your timeline over here should look like. So it starts at 1900, if you use the extreme blur, then goes to zero. So playing through, this is what we've just created without any plugins. Now, like I said, it is a bit more time consuming. However, you've just seen it doesn't really take much time. The next thing is how to make the blur from one clip to another clip. So this time we're going to overlap manually. So we're just going to drag this one back, save again for one, one and a half seconds. And what we've already got here is the fade. So you can see the only thing we need to add on is the blur. So to do that, drag and drop it onto the clip on the right. And where the horizontal range and vertical range is, all we do is go to the end of the fade, turn them off or turn them to zero and then playing it through. That's what we've just created. And then of course, ending the video, if you want to add the fade out, go to the top right, drag it out. Again, this time will tell you how long it will be. I'll put two seconds here. We've already got the blur on remember from up here. So what we do is head back over to the effects button and all you do is lay down a keyframe right here. So don't touch any of the settings. Just press that button. Once you're right at the beginning of your fade out, go to the very last keyframe over here and simply change this to extreme blur. So you can see it will give you the settings. So if I X out of it, we'll play it through from the beginning. It's going to fade blur from the start, it's then going to fade blur transition to the second clip, and then it's going to fade blur out. Just like that. It's super simple, it's a really effective transition, and you can see it's really quick to create whether you're using a plugin or if you're gonna be doing it manually. Of course, the perks of doing it manually, you get full control over how it all looks.